Hello, Cooper here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the number one way to get more Google reviews. Uh, there's a few simple steps we'll share with you. Um, and these are the things that we teach our agents to do to get more reviews on their Google business listing. But before we start, we believe Google is hands down the number one place that agents should focus on getting reviews. Uh, there's some pretty compelling reasons for that. Number one, 60% of people, this is from the 2019 NAR buyer and seller survey, 60% of people will Google search your name before they even contact you, which means that that Google search result, when someone searches your name, is actually gonna be seen 60% of the time before someone even makes it to your website. Uh, so it's, so it, it basically functions as like a first impression. So it's really important for people to um, find that page, that result in Google and find good reviews for you to build credibility for your business. Um, the other reason is that it's way easier to get reviews on your Google business listing compared to say Zillow, Realtor.com or your Facebook business page. <clears throat> we actually recommend that our agents get 10 reviews on Google before they even focus on getting reviews in any of those other sources I just mentioned. So here's a couple of simple ways uh, of how you can go about getting reviews on Google. Um, number one, use texting. Uh, we actually recommend our agents copy the this magic URL, I'm gonna show you how to get in a second, um, into a text message on your phone and send that to a past client or actually technically anyone you've given real estate advice to um, is eligible to leave you a review, which is probably most people you know if you're doing your job correctly. So uh, text them this magic URL that I'm gonna show you how to find um, and ask them if they would leave a quick review, you know, just talking about their experience with you. And if it's someone you've just given advice to, just ask them to reflect on the advice. You know, was it good advice, was it bad advice, so on and so forth. Uh, so pretty easy to find this. Let me uh, pull up a new tab here. So we're gonna Google search, we're gonna use JP Woman Realty as an example because we have a Google business listing just the same as you do. Over here on the right hand side, you can see this little box here. Uh, so what you'll do um, when you're finding this URL for your own business, Google search your name. And if you have a common name, you might have to Google search your name plus the word realtor or maybe even realtor and then your location if you have a super common name. Those things help Google hone in on who exactly you are. Um, if you don't have a box that shows up for any of those things, it's probably because you haven't either haven't set up or haven't verified your Google business listing. Um, and we have other videos. Uh, you can go and look on YouTube and our, and our channel to find those videos. So anyways, Google search your name, find your Google business listing, which is this box over here in the right hand column. And if you scroll down, you will see there is a reviews section. And right here, there's a button that's, that says write a review. And if I click on that button, a little box will pop up. You can see it's auto-filling my name and my photo in there. Now, interestingly enough, this URL and the URL bar up here actually changed when I click that review button. Uh, and if I copy that URL, let's go into an incognito window and I'll show you what that URL does when I put it in. So an incognito window means it doesn't remember me, doesn't remember who I am. Knows pretty. This browser window knows essentially nothing about me, so it's not going to log me in or give me tailored searches. So um, you can see that when I put that URL in, it actually did a pop up. And if I were signed in, it would automatically show me that box to write a review, and it would give me the prompt to write a review. So what that looks like um, in a browser when I'm signed in on mobile, it looks kind of similar to this as well. Um, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. It gives you this nice little box here. So if you were to text that link to someone and ask them to give you a review, um, literally all they have to do is click the link in their text messages. It'll open that this in their browser on their cell phone. Uh, and then they'll be able to just write your review right there. Click the stars, type in a little bit of information. Uh, we see a very high conversion rate when our agents use that method. Um, of asking for reviews compared to other methods. Facebook, Zillow, Realtor all require multiple clicks in order to actually write a review. Um, sometimes even you have to like scroll and find the review section um, on those profiles in order to actually be able to leave a review. Uh, and so that's, that's why we, we suggest Google reviews because it's just super easy to get reviews um, on Google in that manner. Uh, 
Thank you for watching. That was our quick and easy tips for you to get more reviews on Google, which we believe is the number one place agents need reviews. If you have requests for other video topics, feel free to leave them down in the comments or get in contact with us any way, um, and we'll be happy to do a video on that. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you can make sure you get notifications for all the videos that we put out helping you with your marketing strategy. Thank you. Have a good day.